You are welcome to my channel, Simplified English Grammar. In our previous class, we talked about numbers in English language, singular and plural. Today we'll be continuing, but before then, if you have not subscribed, please do well to subscribe. Like, share, click on the notification bell to get notified each time we drop our content. Let's get going. We have exceptions to the formation of plurals in the English language. Some nouns ending in F or FE do not obey the rule of changing this or this to this. They do not obey that universal rule. Instead, they simply add S to the singular form to form their plural. Let's take some examples of such nouns. Some of these examples include proof, proofs, puff, puffs, muff, muffs, golf, golfs, cleave, Cleaves, chief, chiefs, dwarf, dwarfs, roof, roofs, tough, toughs, self, selves. Yes, again we have some nouns that end in f. They end in f, having two ways of forming their plurals. They can simply form one kind of plural with the addition of s. And the other one, the f, changes to v, e, s to form its plural form. Any of these two forms is acceptable, correct, but only few words in the English language exhibit these characteristics. Let's take this few examples. These examples include hoof, hoofs, hoofs. Both of them are correct either with the addition of the suffix s or v e s. Secondly, we have wolf, wolves, wolves, scarf, scarves, Scarves, staff. The staff here refers to the musical word where we have lines and spaces and the musical notes embedded in them. So we here refer to them as also staff. Staff, staffs, or staves. Staffs or staves. More so, we have some English nouns that ends in a y preceded by a vowel, had they formed their plural by the addition of s. These nouns that end in y, preceded by a vowel, any of the vowel, you add s to form its plural form. Let's take some examples. Monkey ending in Y, preceded by a vowel, a. Uh, we have it at monkeys. Day, days. M donkey, donkeys. Boy, boys. Way, ways. Ray, rays. Key, keys. Essay, essays. Thank you for viewing with us. If you have not subscribed, please do well to subscribe. We need it for the growth of this channel. Like, share, and don't forget to click on the notification bell to get notified each time we drop our content. Our content, as usual, will be dropping every Tuesdays 
and Fridays. Thank you for viewing. Our next episode, we'll be talking about something very interesting. There, we are going to see some nouns that have various ways of plural formation. Thank you.